my shift hasn't started yet, so I decided to see what Hakura Senpai's class was doing. Ah. Uh, oh, I see! Ha ha! But it doesn't look like a haunted house really a Sora, Jonah! I shook my head. Something like a haunted house couldn't even face Sora. As expected, she was just too cool-headed to be scared by Ghost Hakura. You could have at least pretended to be a little bit scared for our sakes, you know. Hmm, it's not my fault your lighting effects are so chazy. Hey, I worked hard setting everything up, you know. Meh, whatever. I'll be on my way now. Sigh. Alright, see you later. Well then, see you. With that, Sora left. Seriously, couldn't she have at least pretend to be a little bit scared? Ah, oh, sorry, Rikuku! I should get tired of it, scary! No, it's not your fault, Hakura-chan. Sora's always been like that. Still, I'm a little jealous! Rikuku's gotten pretty close to his sister! Hasn't he? Haha, <laughs> if you say so. No, oh, I think Sora's gotten much more honest towards Rikuku since she arrived! Uh, I guess you're right. Well, I'll get back into position. Okay! <laughs> Soon our shift at our haunted house was over. Hakura and I finally got out of the classroom and saw the crowded hallways for the first time. Ah, there's so many people now! Seems totally different from when we got into the haunted house this morning. Now that my shift was over, it was time to check out the other classes. Aw, oh, yeah. I made my way to Nanami's class and saw her standing outside. Oh, Riku! Hey, Nanami, my shift just ended, so I came around to see what you were doing. Oh, lucky! Mine just ended too! Come on, let's go look around together! Before I could say anything, Nanami was already pushing me along. It's a festival, Riku! A festival! Yeah, I can kind of see that. So we're obviously gonna have fun, right? Uh, I suppose you're right, ha 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 We took a stroll around the school, checking out what we, uh, what all the other classes were doing. Oh, look at that, Rakuku! It's a human UFO game! A what? I took a look and saw that Nami was, well, what Nami was pointing, right? yeah. Damn it! There was a guy tied to a rope on a ceiling, it looked like people were, I could control him using a bunch of pulleys. A bunch of prizes were scattered around the floor, and the goal was to use the guy to grab them across the classroom and into the target area. That was definitely the craziest idea I've seen all day. Although I certainly couldn't envy the guy who had a hang from the ceiling all day long. Haha! <laughs> it looks like a lot of fun to do that, yo! Oh! Only, uh, you'd think a thankless job like that was fun. Come on, come on, we can coo we gotta check it out! Now he grabbed me and ran towards the class. Before I knew it, she had already bought a ticket and was trying out the pulleys. Hmm, I see. This one moves the crane right, while this one moves the crane in front of the bag. Can you use that one to lower it, man? Uh, alright, alright, let's have a go. She pulled one of the pulleys and brought the human crane further backward. Ho <laughs> ho, the lounge bento is as good as mine. As soon as she aimed the bento box, uh, she was aiming for that. Well, as it looked like she had lined up the crane properly, she lowered the catcher, only to realize that she was off target. Oh, hey, that's impossible! I was sure that was the right spot! So that was the trick behind this. It was pretty hard to aim properly that far in the classroom with this angle. Not only was it a pretty big room, but there was also nothing inside to base your perspective on. And now we brought back the catcher, now sounding a little disappointed. <laughs> I guess it's just, a, uh, just as difficult to win as the USO catcher at the arcade. That's right, oh man, one time I spent like 2,000 yen on like one UFO catcher, man. They made these games such so raw people and gullible people like us, man, Riku. Actually, I didn't do anything here in Nanami. Oh well, let's move on, man. Ah, leave it to Nanami to begin something suddenly with so much enthusiasm, but then lose interest even more quickly. Still, I couldn't help but smile at Anami's silly antics. Ah, alright, let's try something else. We wandered through the classroom. Oh, to the other classroom, seeing what everybody else was doing. Eventually, we passed one of the posters advertising the Moonlight Dance. Oh, hey, 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 yo, Rikuku! You know what? There's gonna be a dance later today, right? Yeah, I heard about that. So who you gonna go with? 
I wonder. Oh, I bet it's gonna be pretty fun. It's gonna be like a bonfire in the middle of class school, y'all. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but there are only people who are going to be couples, you know. <laughs> oh, you do have a point. I bet it's gonna be like make out central air, bleh, man. Haha, <laughs> you're right. It's really no place for people like us, right? <laughs> I guess so. Just as expected, us dancing together that is just a bit, you know. Hey, are you calling me a klutz? Uh, actually, what I meant to say was. Oh, man, yo, stupid Riku, man! All of a sudden, Anami got an angry expression on her face. Uh-huh, looks like I accidentally made her mad. Not good! I'm trying my best to cool her down. Mm. Sorry, I was just saying that you're my best friend. Probably not the first friend I ever had. Oh, probably the first friend I ever had. Anami sighed. Ugh, yeah, it's clueless up, man. Uh, what do you mean? Nami bent forward and pouted. I could tell she was trying to annoy me now, though. Absolutely nothing! Okay. Uh, she was starting to remind me of Sora. <laughs> oh, I guess that's enough for today. Let's walk around with me, man. You'll be cool, man. Uh, hey, what about what you said? <laughs> don't even worry about it, man. It's really nothing, man. Are you sure? Yeah, no, y'all, man. See you, Riku. All right, see you. Uh, see you later. And with them, uh, yeah, Nanami was gone. Sheesh, I, I could never quite keep up with how quickly her emotions changed. Still, what did she mean about me being clueless? Maybe she wanted to go to the dance with me and was annoyed that I accidentally shut her down so easily. Did I just lose a great opportunity to get closer to Nanami right now? I thought about it for a moment. Nanami and I, a couple? Hmm. Nah, as if something like that would ever happen. Ha <laughs> ha. It was probably just wishful thinking on my part. She probably meant something else totally different. Clearing the thoughts from my head, I wandered back to our class and saw Hakura standing outside. Ah, oh, Rikuku, why are you looking around? Uh, yeah, I was checking the other class with Nanami. Oh, I see! Come to think of it, maybe I should ask for Hakura's opinion on what just happened with Nanami. A girl's opinion could uh, be helpful after all. Besides, Hakura's been friends with Nanami ever since elementary school, and so she probably knew really well. Akira-chan, I have a question. It's kind of weird. Can you, so can you hear me out for a little? Ah, uh, sure thing. What is it? What do you think the Nami thinks of me? Oh, do do do, Chad. I think she was careful, Raccoon. Oh, she always looks so happy whenever she's talking about you. Raccoon, must be something pretty special to her. But doesn't she usually look happy whenever she's talking about anything? Ha <laughs> ha! But you know. Back when we first met in elementary school, and I would always talk about Riku a lot. Really? Uh huh. Back then, we used to go back to Nacho's old photo album, and she would be like, Tell me all about you. I could really tell she put a lot of play special plays hard. I told you, maybe I was a little envious. And if I had somebody like that back then. I see. Oh, there's something happened between you two. Kind of, we were talking about the dance just now, and it seemed like she got mad at me when I said that us dancing together was a little, you know. Ha <laughs> ha, I see! I didn't really mean anything by it, and Naomi's always just been my friend, my best friend. But it's still obvious that we're not a couple or anything, really, like that. Ha <laughs> ha, okay, I'll try talking to you now, but I'll see what I can face about it. You will? Oh, of course! Thanks, Harakuraja. Don't worry about it, Nanami is not the part of the to stay angry about these things for a long time. If age might worry, already forgot about it, haha! <laughs> haha, <laughs> you're right. I I'm probably worried for nothing. Haha! <laughs> uh, is, is that all you're coming out to talk about? Yeah, that's all. Oh, thanks, Hakuchan. That helped a lot. Haha, <laughs> we're gonna take a look at the take a look around together. Sure, let's do that. We walked around from our classroom. Oh, by the way, Class 3 4 has this crazy human UFO game. You should totally check that out. Wow, oh, that sounds pretty interesting! By the time the sun was setting, the packed hallways were beginning to thin out. I guess people were heading out of the schoolyard for the dance. Oh well, it wasn't as if that had anything to do with me. Just as I was about to return to the classroom and I helped, uh, to help Hawker clean up, something, uh, someone caught my attention and cleared my eye. Dot dot dot. Oh, huh, I wonder what Sora was doing. It didn't look like she was in a good mood. I felt a little bad leaving Hawker to clean up by herself, but I decided to chase after Sora. Maybe something bad had happened to her, and she just needed help. I turned around and tried my best to retrace her steps. That was strange. Sora's general direction led me to the stairway to the roof. I wonder what she was doing up there. Curiously, 
I walked up the stairs and opened the door. Sure enough, I saw Sora leaning against the safety railing, looking at the distant event hori uh, horizon. Hey! Upon hearing my voice, she turned around. Reiko. What are you doing up here, Sora? Hmm, just watching the sky. Ha, ah, I see. I walked up to her and stood beside her, gazing out into the distance with her. I didn't get to see you much today. Did, uh, did you have a lot of fun? Fun. Uh, uh, I spent most of the day walking around with Haru-chan. You should have, uh, been with it. Uh, been there with us. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, why are you crying, Sora? Oh, all of a sudden I saw a tear run down Sora's eyes. What's the matter, Sora? Did something happen? Nothing. Then why are you, uh... Cha. Sora wiped her tears with her sleeve. Hey, do you want to hear a funny story? Alright. I got rejected today, even before I could confess. Wh uh, what? Uh... By who? There was a senpai who I admired. All of a sudden, I felt really enraged. As if I had just found out that some sleazy guy was making a move my girlfriend or something. I chased the thought from my head. Sora was my sister for crying out loud. Anyway, I had to make sure to get to the bottom of this. Well, what happened? I... Was really hoping that he'd ask me to the dance. Since only third years can buy tickets, I couldn't ask him out. But he... What? Where is he right now? Sora pointed down to the schoolyard to where a guy was now dancing with a girl. That must have meant that he had already asked somebody else out instead. That scum! So he went out with another girl! Uh... As enraged as I was at the guy, I felt kind of relieved that Sora wasn't going out with him. As if I would let anyone touch my precious little sister. As Sora's brother, it was my responsibility to take care of her. I wasn't about to let somebody, uh, anybody, take that away from me. I'm really glad that you're okay. And not with a scumbag like him. Uh... I smiled and patted her on the head. Don't be sad. He probably wasn't worth your time anyway. I guess so. Sora, I'm sorry, Reiko. Something like this. Uh-huh. Don't worry about it at all. I'm still here with you, right? Uh... Never forget, no matter what happens, your own Ichan will always be there for you. Sora couldn't help but smile at that, even if her cheeks were still wet with tears. Enough. Glad to see her smile, I kept up my bravado. Even if the sky may fall, or the seas rise and drown us all, I'll be around. I'll always be here to save you, Sora! No matter how dark the night or dastardly the villain, never forget that I'm always by your side. Because I am the invincible older brother! Saving the world, one little sister at a time. Fa ha ha ha. Ha ha! Sora laughed along with me, forgetting our troubles. Stupid Reiko. I'll probably be the one to save you most of the time. Really? Ah, uh, because I'm the smarter, prettier, and cuter younger sister. Ha <laughs> ha, you think so, huh? Hmm, of course I do. Ah ha ha ha. Just then, we heard something pop over us. An enormous flower of light bloomed over the school, basking us in color. Hey, look, Sora. Uh, it's pretty, huh? Yeah. We stood together watching the firework display against the clear evening sky. Dot dot. Reiko. Yeah? Thanks. Uh-huh. If it hadn't... Uh, if it hadn't been for you, this would have been a lousy way to end a culture festival. But, uh ha -huh, ha huh, I think I'm somewhat happy now. I'm glad. 
All of a sudden, I heard the door open behind us. Oh, I found him, Haruko! Oh, there you are, Riku! Uh, everyone. Ha ha! We were wondering where you two went! Nami and Hakura join us on the f uh, and the four of us watch the fireworks together. Oh, good thing we didn't go to dance, since the view's a lot better from here, huh? Ha ha, it's so pretty! I looked at everyone and they were the three most important people in my life. Even though the culture festival was almost over, our days together weren't. I was sure that we'd all be friends no matter what. I wish there was some way to capture the emotions I felt right now. No matter what happened tonight, when the four of us watched the fireworks together on the final day of the cultural festival, was going to be the most precious memory that I would guard in my heart. Ugh. I held Sora's hand. Hey, smile a little bit more. That way I won't have to tickle you so much to hear you laugh. Uh. Soon the show was over and it really was time to go home. Oh, that show was fun, man! Ha oh, ha! I'm glad we managed to come out here time! Let's get going, Reiko. Ah, uh, okay, everyone. Let's go home. By the time Sora and I returned home, the sun had already long set and night had come. Suddenly, I realized that my father's car was in the driveway, along with another person's. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. What's with that fucking music? Oh, no, no. <laughs> that was strange. He usually didn't come home until later in the night. I entered the doorway. I'm back. Oh god. Oh god, it's freaking me out, man. There was light coming from the living room. I wandered in, curious at what was going on. A shocking sight awaited me inside. My father was sitting at the table, facing a woman. As soon as he saw me, she stood and approached me. I recognized her face. It was one that I had not seen in many years. A chill of horror ran down my spine. Oh no. Mother. Oh, murder. Part two, little sister. Oh no. Oh no, what happened? Oh no, what happened? Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> 